So, what's a Pi Station? Well, if you've got an old console at home, it no longer works, so you've got no use for it, and you've moved up to, say, a PlayStation 4 or Xbox or whatever, the old consoles might be left behind. In this particular case of mine, it doesn't work for some reason, and so what people have been doing is putting little computer boards inside a Raspberry Pi or Orange Pi or some other kind of small board, and bringing these things back to life, such that they can emulate uh, the old PlayStations or Nintendo 64, SNES, a few others and also be able to go online with a full Linux desktop pretty nice things indeed so that's what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to convert it to a Pi Station alright just uh, six screws on the bottom I presume it opens from the other side Taking apart a couple of my time, but never with one hand. Alright, so, there's the top. Um, sort of clean, sort of dirty. I want to reuse the power supply, and apparently pins 1 and 2 um, are the 7.6 volts and ground, which I want to put a 7805 regulator on and convert down to the 5 volts, and it should have enough current to run the orange pie. So instead of running a uh, small one of these kind of cables through, I want to be able to plug in the original um, two prong adapter. So next thing is take all this out and to fix the supply here, because I also want to keep the on off and the reset. And I'll probably change out that green LED for a blue to make it more 2016. Okay, take the laser off, and that gives me a spare for the other PlayStation we've got. And now to take this board off. Okay. Lots of plastic. <laughs> I might end up dremeling some of that down. Um, let's see how well this fits in first. First problem. So, I was thinking it can go there. Underneath uh, is the whole eject mechanism thing for the lid. So, I may have to rethink this one. Right, I think I found a solution here. Okay. Have the HDMI port there out of the serial I.O. All that's actually in the way is uh, is this here, which is the, it just presses down to say that the top here is closed. So on the other side here, it's that, which goes down with that. So if I remove that piece and possibly even the small arm, then we end up with uh, that area pretty much clear and the orange pie can go there um, hopefully a bit more forward than that so it will come out through this serial I.O. which is a fine size for the um, HDMI to plug in yep I'll do it that way well I decided to do the soldering to the player one port here um, and I thought this was going to be really possibly difficult to get apart but I uh, just put my finger <laughs> thumb through there and this thing started to crack open so it should be quite easy uh, hopefully anyway and these pins appear to be in a straight line so uh, that will be the next thing to do is to solder to that right so what I've done I've flattened off one of these things that was there and I've also filed down slightly at that point and now that means that this can fit in quite nicely. I'll put some glue on the bottom, and fix all probably, um, and then I'll be able to get the wiring correct and nice and neat for connecting to the back. Alright, next thing is take this power supply out of here, and I'll swap over the LED for a blue one. Alright, this is part two of the video, 
and the reason for it being a two-part video was because I've had a lot of problems with power supplies and this one is broken it's got that chip that's exploded and um, at least three of the diodes um, have been broken when that broke <laughs> so the whole thing the whole term would be broke so what I'm going to do is I've got this supply here which is 5 volts 2 amps and I'm going to take the internals out of it I'm going to take off these two prongs and connect them to the input from this uh, the actual input that was for the PlayStation power supply I'm going to keep the on off and I'm going to keep the LED which is now a blue one which I did before finding out about all this and so what we should be able to do is have the on off switch working as it used to do and be able to plug in at the back like a regular PlayStation but inside will be the parts from this. There we go, that's all those components in front of the main transform have now been removed and that will allow this to fit in and it fits in quite nice, I just tried it before, there we are. So it fits in very well and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue that now and uh, well, this has gone really well the circuit does look like part of the uh, original power supply hopefully um, what I've done is on the back here the wires come through that would normally go to the mains plugs I've reinstalled the 2 amp fuse and so one of the wires one of the leads now goes through that fuse a bit of extra safety uh, on the output end here we're going to the switch uh, the LED comes on fine with the power applied so next thing is to fit it back in here remove the 7805 um, assembly and run this lead over to the orange pie and just a note before I put the lid back on it I've made a couple of improvements to this power supply section I've moved the one wire here so that releases that hole that means that the screw can go in from the back and I've also moved the output wire to go down the side here which also frees up that hole there so I can put the other screw in the back as well. Just to finish things off I'm going to extend the Ethernet port on this orange pie because I found out that the uh, little dongle thing that I've got doesn't work very well so what I'll do is I'll take the female connector of this, which is an old PC um, Ethernet card and here's a lead and I'll just make an extension so should I can plug the male end into there and the female end over onto this port at the back and there we go uh, installed and ready to be tested there's the original output extension and there's the new piece. Okay, this will be the first run to the TV. It's coming up as 1080p. There we are, that's more central as well on the screen. and it's first PlayStation game loading up and that'll be two made of three okay and here's the ambient desktop I got a YouTube video playing so that's the internet side perfectly fine there we go. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this build, and thanks for watching.